Mama said what you want to be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much as long as you're tough Alright, that's two! Yes! Come on! Woo! You can't pick it up, don't ride it! Say you wanna be a spaceman playing in a rock band What you waiting on a wristband? Oh, there's nothing to it, you gotta just do it Cause everybody seems to want it a lot And if the right eyes see you shoot straight to the top of the floor And everything's getting rough, it's like you gotta be tough Yeah, you gotta be Mama said what you wanna be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much Fifty kilometers. We've got about a hundred meters. Fifty k to the end. Killing it. Double take mirrors are supposed to be unbreakable. Guess what? It's busted, mate. You gotta be tough. You gotta be. You know you gotta be. You gotta be tough. You gotta be. Yeah, you gotta be. You know that guy as well? Most people know me when I come here. Yeah. I'm pretty uh, popular. Probably. Oh, he had a tradie shirt on too. Oh. So really good chance he was a tradesman. Probably knew I do electrical work. Mixed bikes. That kind of thing. Think, yeah. So, foot peg. Yeah, yep. and then just you can drop your heels down, you can make heavy heels so you can actually go back in. Yep. So you're not standing upright, you can go heavy heels and it weights the back of the bike with your the weight bias and tips up like.
Lift me up Lift me up Lift me up Lift me up From the storm There he goes, there goes Mal, he's going for a swim. Woo! All right, well, hopefully my bike doesn't uh, fall over. Should, oh. oh, it almost just fell over. Wah! Mal's going for a swim. I'm going for a snack. I will have a swim when we get back to the camp. Not that we've set up a camp yet, but I'm gonna chill in the shade for a minute. There we go. Ah! Oh. Part one done. Amazing. You know what I was thinking while we were riding? I'm so glad I decided to get off street bikes. Street bikes are great, but you can never ride down the road, hit the beach, and then ride 50 kilometers down the sand. It's so amazing. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. I mean, look at this. That's what it's all about. This is what you see on the beach when you're out here in the wildlife, in nature. And Mal reckons he's got a good recipe for this. And what we do is, what were you saying? We heat up the water on the exhaust pipe. Yep. And then just steam, we steam that yep. while we're through, riding. Through the toilet. Through the toilet. Yeah, so. Yeah. Truck. Anyway, steam, uh, steam goanna. Goanna, we're going to eat that goanna. Are you, allowed, are you allowed to eat them? Well, we can. Yeah, okay. In Australia. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I can eat anything. I can eat any Australian uh, food. Me thing, yeah. Yeah. When they said protected, it's mainly protected for like I've seen. Oh uh, yeah, like for protected for foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Um, I, I know you're not like a bear grills type or whatever, but we were yeah. talking about how many times you can drink your own urine. Yeah. Do you reckon you could, like, we could just over the next couple of days, like while we're on a trip, we could just use that instead of like using a Camelback? Yeah. Because I hate the branding on Camelback. Yeah. Just use that. Just to hold, like, you know, get it. Well, let's have a look. I've opened it up. Yep. She's dry, so we can use that now. Yeah. I've got a little. You have to be pretty accurate, though, to pee in that. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I kind of know. Have a look. Yeah, no, I see it. It's... So I, I don't know how you want to accomplish that, but. I reckon. And then we, we can plug it. Yeah, we ditch the camelbacks and the water and all that stuff, and we use coconut. Carry these. Carry coconuts around. Yeah. 
Because they're more, they're, I mean, they're more natural. They're better for the environment anyway. Is that a coconut or is that actually some kind of a marsupial? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Far out. It is. A, I think it is a marsupial. I'm happy to do that, man. This is yeah. shit. Yeah. I, I, like, I've been here before. Yeah. I don't know why I can't. Anyways. Whatever. This place is tapped. This, this is pretty much it for Queensland. Does this as... You got one 50k stretch of like beach that you ride down Which and then is boring. And then There's no off. bends. Nah. Nah. It was straight. And then piss off. And then piss off. And I saw a goanna. That was it. That was the end of it. So. Alright, I think we just found a spot. Looks alright. Alright, I'm gonna take my gear off. I'm absolutely hot, so I'm gonna take all this off and then we'll have a look around. Hey Mal, where did you want the um What's this? Uh that's where you can go. You mean that's my tent? You're marking out yeah. my tent? My tent location. Uh, Kind of, it's pretty close to my tent though. Yeah, but it's a long way from mine. You're gonna put your tent over there. My huh? tent's over there. This is you. Yeah, but your tent's in a nice spot. Like, I'm gonna wake up in the sun, man. We'll point the toilet. That way, the ocean. This is how we do it in Australia all the time. We peg it out, we, we mark out our area. You chalk it out, all right. Yeah, and really, I think your bike should probably be back wheel. Front wheel? Maybe front wheel, so if something happens. You just go straight on Get the out. beach? Yeah. Wow. Well, what I'll do, I'm going to set up way over here. Yeah. I don't need to mark mine because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, that's that's mainly for you. Because you don't know what you're doing or not. I like to um, control the campsite. Yeah, all right. I'm not, I'm not going to be too close to the... Um, like the tide's not going to come up that high, is it? Well, it's dry now. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah. That's your chair? Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. So what I'm trying to do is give you an idea of how how we would set up a camp in, in Australia. Yeah. Okay. If I wanted to control everything. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I, is it cool if I go for a swim now, or like, do you normally like you guys normally get your stuff set up? How do you normally do it? I like to be fully set up. Yep. But um. It just looks very sharky. Sharky? Sharky. We don't have sharks here. Yeah. Here they do. The gutters? In the gutters. The gutters fill up with sharks. You ever heard that? Uh, uh, if I'm you're further north, it's full of crocodiles. Down here, sharks. They fill up with sharks. Well, they fill up with little fish, bigger fish, and the sharks come in to eat those fish. So. You can go for a swim, but um, you know, maybe wear your tights. Just for protection. These um, these roads, these roads are quite busy, and uh, I know for a fact, if I don't have high vis on, any just some type of high vis, there's a good chance. You got to see, there's quite a few people. It's quite busy here. You can see. If I don't have high vis, guaranteed someone would hit me. So it's time to get hard in the ocean, folks. I got sandals, I got high vis. One thing, one thing I don't have, how come no one's camped here? 
Are we in a spot that we're not allowed to camp in? Uh, I see people down there. Um, one thing I don't have, yeah, hair tie. So, going in the ocean. Here we go. Getting hard in the ocean. Hey, you know what's weird? I just stepped in the water. I'm like, wow. It's so weird having wet socks. But that's because I'm wearing socks with my sandals. Oh, yeah. It's probably... I'd say minus... Minus 14 degrees. Maybe minus 13 degrees. Oh, that's nice, man. Is he serious about sharks? Oh, fuck. Wow. There is a... No, he's right. There, there's a... What did he call it? A trough. There's a trough here in here. Whoa, boys. Whoa, it's like a... It's like a current. It's a rip. Woo! Woo! All right, here we go. But you know what's not amazing? My toe. Woo! Oh, that's that trough he's talking about. Oh, oh my god, that is amazing. Uh, dude, the water in Queensland is so nice. But adventure riding actually it's not, it's not adventure riding I'm just I'm swimming in the ocean but you know what I mean oh dude this guy's coming to tell me about my socks Fuck. I got spotted because of my socks he's probably like oh that's Mike machine that's an hardinated dude yeah yeah he's right about that Getting it hard and at the beach. Wow, that, that, that current is strong. Woo! Where's, where's the lifeguard? And you know what the best thing is? I work so hard all week long on my physique just to have just the most chiseled abs and it's just good but now is a chance for me to show them off All right yeah these velcros are shit they're gone already I gotta wait for these trucks to pass the cool thing is they can see me from like the point which is probably 20 k's away and that way they know when they get here it's like a beacon and every step that i take illuminates my my position to all the folks coming uh, coming down the beach it's just something i do Woo! yeah probably just recognize me that's all just waving just people waving Oh yeah. What the that's what it's all about guys. Get hard, stay hard. And the cool thing is when you have socks on as well, you just the moment you step in the sand, 
You make little sand cookies between your toes. I think Mal's trying to do a quiet video, so. Woo! Woo! Get hard out here! Woo! Well, we made it to the camp. Uh, my biggest issue, I'm not sorry that I started with that. We've actually done a lot of really cool stuff, but the fl like the flies, almost. It's almost not worth doing this ride. I'm a little offended as you've said you've done some really cool stuff. You haven't been excited once. You didn't want to go to the lighthouse. I, I said yesterday, I'd, Mike, I'd like to take you up the lighthouse. What was your response today? Yeah. So, so but what cool stuff did you really do then? I dropped my bike in the sand. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was staged. And then you staged a drop. I staged came, a drop as well. Because you were hooning back yeah. around and then you high sided. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and the cool thing about yours was you high sided into the ocean. Yeah. Look at these. You know, if we got enough of them, we could just put them on skewers, barbecue them. Can't have fires though. Yeah. You know, one really good thing, we've got so much to talk about tonight because we got like. The sun's going down a few hours, four hours maybe, just to talk shit. I was just going to go to bed. The national parks kind of turn a little blind eye to what's going on here in one respect. But boganism is strong. Is boganism a, a, like a full-fledged epidemic? Yeah, in Australia, yeah. But it's redneckism, mm. the same, same. Let me ask you a serious question. Yeah. Good thing I'm a serious guy. Am I a bogan? Like, how, like, how do I know if I am a bogan? Can I, and, and I know it's not, you don't have to be from here and all that, like. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. no, well, what, one thing doesn't make you a bogan, you wear a bum bag. So, th so that throws you into Canadian? Yeah. Or Euro? Yeah. So that, that eliminates boganism. Do bogans wear tights? Oh, oh the women do. Yeah, with a big oversized t-shirt. You pretty much got that down. Tights with a bigger... So I'm, I'm kind of bogan leaning. Female bogan leaning. Yeah. yeah. And with, with a haircut, you, you, you shave your face back clean. So if I shave my face with the, <coughs> the A-line, the tights, tights. Big baggy t-shirt. T-shirt, yeah, then I'm okay. Bum bag. Yeah, you're there. Female bogan. This is seriously. All right, let's see what we got for Joe. So you're not eating. Oh, you're just having cookies. I'm oh, having all the street lights come on. The street lights. I'm having aged cheddar, which is melted and greasy because I didn't put it in one of those, um, like, I don't know, cheesecloth things. Yeah. Natural walnuts. Mother, what is it? I act. I swear to God. Yeah. My wife does not watch my videos. Do you know what the title of that chili? What 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 brand of chili is that? Sweet chili, but responsibly caught. You don't want responsibly no, caught. No. You know chili. what I? You know what I did in my last video where I had sweet chili? Ah, uh, so it's nothing to do with that they were caught responsibly. No. Uh, this tastes like sugar syrup. I'm not eating this. Uh, I'll eat. Uh, I'll eat liquid cheddar and some chips. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I say that now, but I guarantee the camera will be back out at some point. Anyway, great day of riding. The beach is absolutely amazing. Like, really nice. Like, literally, Mal, we left Mal's house. I didn't know where we were going. We rode for 120 Ks. Mal had to take a break. And then we had we had to ride it like probably another 80 k's and we took another break then i had to take a pee break about 15 k's after that now we drove 200 k's then hit the beach 
rode down probably five meters onto the beach. I dropped my bike twice. I broke my mirror. Sal, oh, I'm sorry, Sal. Mal thought he was going to be cool. He came spinning back. He actually did like a little donut thing. Came spinning back to help me out. High sided his bike. He ended up in the ocean. We only caught the tail end of it where he was picking his bike up. And, um, and then that was it. Right here. That's me. We did get the toilet. I might eat dinner. Yeah. He's gonna heat up his chow. Did get the toilet. Tent set up. Mal's bike. All right, Mal's bike, my bike. That's it. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna eat my carrot, put chow on, and um, yeah, really awesome riding though. And the beach is so nice. The waves are so nice. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Ah, all right, let's do it. No, I'm, I'm not fucking joking, Mal. Those are my glasses. I thought, yeah, I made a mistake. I dropped them on the beach, mate. I, I found them, mate. Oh, did I say I found them? I mean, I bought them. I bought no, them. No, I bought them at Bunnings, you dude. You didn't. You didn't buy them. I fucking dropped them on the beach, dude. I bought them at Bunnings, man. Don't just fuck back off. No, I dropped them on the beach, and I looked in the rear view, and I saw you spin around and pick them up. They're my glasses. How am I supposed to see tomorrow? Like, oh, oh, let me guess. Oh, use my fucking use that fucking thing. Like so, I use so that. So you, you don't trust me. I'm just saying they're my glasses. I know they're mine. You didn't have glasses this morning. Yeah, but they're mine. Hey. I'm not fucking around. There's nobody around here. Why are you threatening me with an after? The glasses. You know what? We're fucking done now. We're done. I'm not getting, they're my, my, they're my glasses. I carry your fucking shitter. Look at this. Now, I carry your shitter actually full of shit now i carry your shitter and i drop my glasses and you fucking oh they're my no they're no, they're my fucking glasses you know what you know what it doesn't mean that much to me you have them what are you gonna walk home are you walking home Do I keep the bike? What an asshole. Can't believe that. Why does he think I... Why does he think I stole these glasses? I bought them. Bought them at Bunnings. With my own money. And now I'm like called a liar. Life it ain't